ridiculous waste of time and energy. I prefer to think of it as doing something that will please my husband. Well, you needn't develop biceps doing it. <laughs> if you want to decorate a cake, you merely put a small ring of rosebuds there with vines and leaves. <laughs> a gazebo in the center. <laughs> surrounded by Grecian columns. There, there, there. <laughs> so there. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. But just because you married a human, Samantha, that's no reason to overdo this grubby little housewife role. Well, you call it whatever you like. I promised Darren no witchcraft, and no witchcraft's what he's going to get. Uh, very well. <laughs> Thank you. Don't thank me. As a mother, I've apparently failed you completely. On the contrary, you've done a wonderful job. Got myself a great husband, didn't I? Oh, <sighs> when I think what you could have had, I get positively ill. Darren is a marvelous human being. Oh, that's a terrible thing to say about anyone. <laughs> How can you be so prejudiced, Mother? You haven't even met him. You hardly know what he looks like. Oh, they all look alike to me. Noses to the grindstone, shoulders to the wheel, feet planted firmly on the ground. No wonder they can't fly. <laughs> Darren's not like that. Don't contradict your mother, Samantha. Of course he is. Look what he's done to you already. You've changed, Samantha. You really have. And soon I won't be able to pick you out in the crowd. Oh, sure you will. I'll be the one with strawberry frosting in my hair. <laughs> How's that? Oh, it's revolting. <laughs> but I'm sure what's his name will make a pig of himself over it. <laughs> his name is Darren, Mother. You don't fool me one bit. You're dying to meet him and he wants to meet you. Samantha! Honey, I'm home. Oh, there he is. You better go. Why? I want to study him up close. Not now. Don't worry, Samantha. He won't see me. Which is honor. <laughs> and you know me to be a witch of my word. <laughs> Good. 